In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 reasons to pick up the new Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the new Galaxy A35 5G right here. This is offered unlocked at Best Buy and online. And you can also get this, I believe, at like Cricket Wireless, Metro by T-Mobile, and even Boost Mobile now. So this is pretty much out everywhere. I have had this device for about a month. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the 10 things that I absolutely love about this device. Of course, there are some things I don't like about this device. For example, there's no wireless charging, but I'm gonna be doing a whole whole other separate video on that and uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out I'll leave a link in the description down below once that video is uploaded but first and foremost I'd have to say the first pro about this device the first thing I love about this device has to be the display of course we have some thick bezels on here which is kind of a drawback but for the most part we have a big beautiful display so it's a 6.6 .6 inch display this is gonna be a super AMOLED full HD display as well with a 120 Hertz refresh rate so we have some very 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 decent colors on here, which Samsung usually brings to their mid-range and budget phones. So always appreciate that in a Samsung phone. But whether you guys are scrolling through social media, playing video games, watching movies, you guys are going to have a great time on this display. It's definitely big enough for a more captivating experience, but also you get that super AMOLED display in here, which just brings out the colors and everything. Not to mention we have a 120 Hertz refresh rate. That actually feels like a 120 Hertz refresh rate. There are many phones out there that say 120 hertz and then you not actually feel like a 120 hertz refresh rate and this one actually does so the first reason to buy this phone has to be the display i feel like for the price point it is actually very very decent the other cool thing about this display is we do have a thousand nits brightness so if you guys are working in the sun all day or you guys are mostly outside this is going to be a great phone to have in direct sunlight our second reason to pick up this phone is going to be that we do have an ip67 water and dust resistant Resistance. This is something that we usually see on more flagship or higher end mid-range phones So it's nice to see that we can get this on a $400 phone So we have IP67 water and dust resistance. You can drop this in water um, You can't let it take a swim for a while or whatever But if you have some splashes and you drop it in water once in a while or you get some dust and dirt in it The phone is not going to blow up or be destroyed So it's great to see on a $400 phone that we have that IP rating and that they actually paid for the IP certification which is something that I believe cost around a hundred bucks for a company to do so definitely great to see that on here our third reason to pick up this phone and this is a big big reason as you guys know we have Android 14 on this device so we have the latest operating system running on this device but we also have four years secured for updates on this device so as you guys know we're in 2024 so we are going to be getting operating system updates until 2028 not to mention that we do have an added five years of security patches our next reason to buy is our crisp quality speakers and as you guys know we do have stereo speakers on this device we do have a speaker at the bottom of the phone and as far as our headset goes it actually does double as a speaker as well um, and this is a big thing for the gamers out there so if you guys play PUBG mobile call of duty mobile and a lot of the time you guys are covering up um, your speaker port at the bottom of the phone this is going to be good for you because at least there's going to be one speaker um, if you cover one up up here as well so very nice to see that not to mention that it's more captivating it definitely feels like a more surround sound experience so when watching movies or watching social media or YouTube videos and stuff like that it's going to be a good listening experience and in my experience I have heard absolutely no tin out of the Galaxy A35 5G and for the most part these are some of the most crispy speakers around this price point our next reason to buy is that there is actually a difference <laughs> in performance um, as far as last year's uh, Dimensity 1080. As you guys know, we now have the Exynos 1380 under the hood. So we did get some much better day-to-day -day performance out of this. I feel like gaming runs better uh, than the Galaxy A34 compared to this. So you guys are gonna get a boost in performance from the Galaxy A34. So if you guys were thinking about skipping out and getting the A34 instead of this device, I'm not saying don't do it, but this one definitely has a little bit of bump in performance. Now, as far as the battery goes with that chipset, I feel like the Galaxy A35 has about the same performance as the A34 um, when it comes 
to the chipset. But overall, the daily tasks and performance is going to be better on this device than the previous device. The next reason to pick up the Galaxy A35 has to be the color lineup. Now, as you guys know, we have our awesome color lineup for this year. It's called Awesome. And this color is lilac. It looks absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, we have like a little rainbow hue. And that's going to be the same way in each of the colors. But we have Awesome Lilac in here. We also have Awesome Ice Blue. And we have Awesome Navy if you guys want something a little bit more low key. And depending what region you guys are in, you guys may have different colors, but these are the ones that we got in the United States. And uh, I just think it's cool to see this on a device that's not a flagship device, because most of the time on mid-range devices, you don't get too many colors to choose from. But with Samsung, they're usually doing a pretty good job with their color lineups. And it's nice to see that we have a ton to choose from for the A35. The next reason to pick up the Galaxy A35 definitely has to be the camera. Uh, this is a very, very solid clear camera and we definitely have a nice 50 megapixel sensor on this as well as a new updated sensor and some other updates to this camera as far as like the stability when filming in 1080p 60 frames per second or even 30 frames per second as well i feel like they did a better job with the 4k as well so 4k is on here um, and I feel like for the most part, most people that even do like flagship devices are going to have a good time on this device. I feel like the quality is beautiful for a $400 price tag. Um, and we can also use the night mode to take pictures at night and stuff like that. Doesn't look the greatest in the world, um, but this is something that's definitely being perfected over time in Samsung's mid-range devices. But for the $399 price tag on this phone, I feel like you guys are getting a very, very good camera. Our next reason reason to pick up the new Galaxy A35 has to be the build on this device. As you guys know, we do have Gorilla Glass Victus on the front right here. So we have a very, very strong glass display. And we also have glass on the back of this device. I do not know exactly what it's rated at. Hopefully it's at least Gorilla, but the back of the device is going to be completely glass. However, the chassis is going to be plastic, but that glass back definitely makes this feel much less like a budget phone and much more like a flagship. So as far as the build quality on this device, for the majority of people walking around with this, you're gonna feel like you have a flagship in your hands or in your pocket. And most people are definitely not going to be the wiser about this. They're gonna think you just have a Samsung. So if there's anybody worried about that, which I don't think you should be worried about that in any way possible, but if you get bullied at school or something like that, or you care about that type of stuff, this is a very, very nice quality build and it absolutely feels and looks like a flagship device. Next reason to pick up this device is we do have expandable storage via micro SD cards. So if you are in the crowd that likes expanding your storage via your little micro SD card and you've been doing it for the last 10, 12 years in your smartphone, then don't fret because this actually does let you expand your storage via micro SD cards. It does have a shared SIM slot inside of here. So the front is going to be of course the SIM card and the back is going to be the SD card slot. So if you you guys for whatever reason want to hold more files videos photos on there this is definitely going to be a good option for you since you can expand your storage so great to see that it's not adoptable storage and we haven't seen that in many phones especially on the more flagship type brands like Samsung and Apple, but it's still cool to see that you can hold more photos and videos and you don't have to hold them in a cloud or a drive or whatever. So it's nice to see that on this device. And the last reason to pick up the Galaxy A35 has to be the 5,000 milliamp battery inside of here. And as I said last year, the Galaxy A34 has pretty much the same battery life as the Galaxy A35 as far as like the processing power and all that type of stuff. But Overall, you guys are going to have a good time with this. It's going to last the entirety of the day, especially if you're not on it playing video games constantly. But for the most part, the majority of people out there, this is going to last you an entire work day and more. So nice to see that we have a decent battery on here still in 2024. But yeah, guys, those were my 10 reasons to pick up the new Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. If you guys have any other reasons, of course, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you guys actually have the Galaxy A35 5G or are watching this video on the Galaxy A35 5G, let me know your favorite things and least favorite things about the device. But yeah, guys, hopefully Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If this video helped you out at all, drop a like, also drop a comment, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.